So I'm actually here uh, with our Director of Chemical Research and Development, uh, Werner Buckman, and we're going to go over just a little bit about um, our chemistry. Um, so Werner, the, the first question I have is, knowing that we use bleach to, to clean roofs, why isn't bleach alone sufficient? Why, why do we need a, an extra surfactant or soap to add into our, our mixture? Good question. Uh, bleach doesn't clean anything. Bleach breaks things down. It can make them water soluble or it can destroy the color. The material might still be present there, it's just that the color no longer exists. So you need a complex blend of chemical compounds, cleaning compounds per se, that will have the ability to wet the surface, uh, encapsulate the material, repel those from those surfaces, and remove the materials that the bleacher was able to break down. Well, I guess knowing that, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about our, our specific chemicals and, sure, and the process way. behind them? Sure. Um, well, the, the first one we have, this is our wash tech. This is mm. the, the workhorse behind the whole roof tech system. This one's gonna be used for what, organic stainings and roof cleaning and siding cleaning, kind of the, the general use around the home. Um, can you tell me a little bit about this and what makes sure. it different from our competitors' uh, surfactants? Yes, uh, you, you folks probably know by now that we tend to fine tune our products to do very specific things. And this product is specifically for cleaning roofs. This product is uh, designed to clean surfaces that are very difficult to wet. Aluminum is one of those. And uh, asphalt shingles, as you know, is another one. It's designed to repel water. So the bleach cannot permeate through the asphalt shingles to remove all the dirt and materials and organic materials and stains that are present. So this product has a very, very low surface tension that is allowed to permeate through those areas, uh, encapsulate solid particles like clay and things of the kind. It's an excellent degreaser, but it doesn't affect the asphalt shingle. It's a key factor because you know, uh, things that remove grease and oils than to discriminate about that, not this product. So mm -hmm. it's safe for use and it's an excellent degreaser. Yeah, and I think the, one of the nice things too is that it, it's, uh, you run it at about two to four gallons an hour. And so uh, on top of all that, very cost effective for the guys using it. Yeah, and we designed it to be a high foamer. So uh, as you spray on, on the roof, you know what coverage you, at, you have. So you have a uniform distribution of the bleach, which is important. Very cool. Well, the, the next one in the lineup, um, is the dirt tech. This is similar to the wash tech, but mm -hmm. rather than targeting organic staining and material, we're, we're looking at inorganics. Correct. Um, what can you tell me, what makes this different from the wash tech or anything else? The inorganic material, there's a lot of, a lot of things that you have to remove is clay. And clay is a very, very small particle of dirt, per se. You, you cannot see a particle of clay in a normal microscope. Uh, even a thousand times magnification, you're not going to be able to see it. So they tend to permeate very deeply into uh, cement, for example. It makes it very good, very difficult to remove. This product, again, has a very low surface tension. It wets the cement and natural stones, things of the kind, very, very well, encapsulate all those particles that are there and force creates a repelling force between the particles and the cement and it's forced to come up to the surface. And uh, the, then the spray washing can remove those a lot easier. So okay. that is effective against uh, uh, oil stains and concrete, for example, they're very difficult to remove. And the bleach is there to uh, break down any other organic matter or any other stains that will be there. Okay. Um, and then the, the third in our kind of general cleaning lineup is the, the wood tech. This is gonna be used for uh, cedar, shake roofs for decks, siding, um, also fences. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, what can you tell me about the, the wood tech? Again, uh, the bleach is going to um, break down any stains that are there, but also will affect the color of any wood material that you have, either like cedar and, mm -hmm. and um, uh, decking. So it's very important to have a very good even distribution of the bleach on the surfaces so you don't have, uh, uh, you don't create problems with different shades of, of brightening of all those surfaces. And this product is excellent for that. It creates a uniform distribution of the bleach where it can permeate through the upper layers of the wood without causing any issues with uh, having uh, weird shapes. Right, right. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
So, so now that we've done the, the cleaning process from the home, we've cleaned the roofs, mm -hmm. the, the gutters, the siding and the decking and everything. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I think is important to have is uh, a bleach neutralizer on, on the truck. There, there's always going to be a, a time where maybe you spill some bleach on your skin or um, at the end of the day, this would be really good for flushing out your system Correct. to, to yes. keep it maintained to make sure you're not leaving any bleach dwelling mm -hmm. in there. Um, what exactly goes behind the, the Nutritech? What can, you, what can you tell me about this one? Um, this is a, uh, what we call a mild oxidize, uh, reducing agent and oxidizers and reducers neutralize each other. Uh, so this product has a tendency to neutralize the, the bleach to table salt and water. And um, if you have any spills, uh, any emergency you have, you can pour this product. And also, as you said, it's really good to actually flush through your system so you don't leave any bleach sitting down for 24 hours or mm. you know over a weekend that could affect parts of your, of your system over time. So uh, by using this and neutralize the bleach, you know you have just a, just nice protection for your system. And finally, along with our uh, cleaning and our neutralizing, we do have two specialty chemicals also that you you've helped formulate. Mm -hmm. um, one being more specifically for uh, concrete, and one specifically for um, oxidation around a home. Um, those like chalky stains and uh, issues that you have on siding or window panes. Um, what, what are these two Correct. and what makes them different from the rest of the lineup? Uh, this is geared for red clay. Red clay has a, a lot of rust in it, iron oxide, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we've created a system with polymers uh, that helps create that anti-redeposition forces that repels all particles from each other that brings to the surface makes it a lot easier to clean. It's different than the dirt tech because it's more specific for the southwest red clay that you see everywhere here. Mm -hmm. Very effective product. Also is a higher pH than the other products. So it's sometimes if you don't want to use the bleach along with this, this is not a bleach product, then it does a job by itself. Okay. It's very unique because you don't need to use bleach with neither one of the two products. Okay. The Oxitec is excellent to remove oxidation that you see on sidings, uh, on gutters, for example, that is very difficult to remove. Yeah, like the, the black tiger stripe. Yeah. yeah. And this product is able to do that without having oxidizers or reducing agents or bleach or anything within it. It's very interesting technology that we use that is able to remove those things without using any any damaging material per se. Mm -hmm. So in neither the, the Oxitec nor the Contact use bleach with it. Well, very it's designed cool. to work standalone and do a great job. Yeah, well, well I appreciate you taking a minute sure. to, to run me through this and hopefully everybody learned a little bit about uh, yeah. the different chemistry and why, why it's, that's important just as well as the, the machine part of it.